I think it has been uh, and will be so even more in the future. What it is beginning to be is um, a way of kind of developing individualism and of um, oxygenating, as it were, the mind, the spirit, um, in a way that makes up, perhaps, for the rather rigid and prescriptive manner in which people get taught, even at university level, quite often. And uh, so it allows people, as I say, to become more individual. Secondly, I think that it has the function of being something of a safety valve um, for society, because people are able to express frustrations um, with their life in a way that, if it were expressed in stri strictly political terms, might well get them into difficulty with the authorities. So many people um, have the means of access to the internet. So you get YouTube um, short films, you get Twitter, um, you get, get creations which absolutely whiz around the whole Arab world. I'm thinking of groups like Telfaz 11 in Saudi Arabia, for example. Then um, in the Emirates, uh, Sheikh Akhua al Qasimi of the Sharjah ruling family has since 2003 with the Sharjah Biennial and the March meetings managed to create a kind of forum for art from the whole Manasseh region which really didn't exist before and I'd say that her encounters are the most important for, 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 for the whole area. And then I would say that uh, it, what is happening there is attracting so much attention that the West, which is uh, fascinated by the Middle East, also slightly afraid of it, uh, is beginning to collect work, works of art from the Middle East and take an interest in what people are saying. So it's become uh, a, 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 another way of finding out about um, Arab culture that is not uh, the kind of thing that you read in Time magazine.